Welcome back to Dive Guy. My name is Chris and I'm here to help you save money and enjoy the sport of scuba diving at the same time. We're here at Emerald Coast Scuba. So, kind of got some news for you for Dustin. It's just the first thing we're going to do is, I actually, this is our reef box for this month. Now look, Renee and them did a really hard job. So they got everything put together and, and I'm really happy to have this month's reef box. Um, so with that, let's get started. Good. We got some important stuff to talk about today. So there's actually some cool stuff in here. Um, first things first, the Kua knife. I have not pulled it out yet. It's, a, it's actually a really smart blunt tip knife uh, for those dive spots that you're not allowed to go to with a knife. Then you at least use this to line cutter. And next things are, which I really love. I actually have one of these already. I have the Spiegel for your dive guide, dive slate. These are actually really cool to have with your dive logs because if you got somebody that's never dove it before, you can sit there and say, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna jump in here. We're gonna jump in here, swim this way, go around and actually have a dive location. Um, this is the Benwood. Benwood is actually a really wonderful dive. And if you could get up there towards the bow where spots one and two are at, that is, probably we're going to see the most sea turtles that's where we've seen all night and day dives um uh, and plus if you spot number three is where this giant ass eel's at i'm not going to know what to say it is it's just going to be a giant ass eel that's what's going to be um let's see here so that's those two now for those of us that dive really gotta interrupt my time for those of us that dive panhandle they actually got the Panhandle Shipwreck Trail. Now, the best part about the Panhandle Shipwreck Trail, I don't think there's any special awards you get or anything like that for taking it in. Um, but we have stuff like the Riskini, of course. There's mine, Miss Louise. That's over here in Destin, so we dive it all the time over here at Demo Coast. So, get that stamp, get your times, dates, like I said, Apparently, it's a project. So just like that, I'm not sure exactly what all you get. I mean, you get a you know scorecard for get them all done, I guess. Um, but the only way you find out is dive it, stamp it, and get it found out. And the last thing, what's in here? Oh, my reef box. My reef box. April box. The gear and a Kuna knife. A Florida Panhandle passport. Um, dive destination, any of the 12, okay. Reef Smart Spiegel Grove and the Reef Smart Benwin. So that's ours for this. That's our reef box for the month of April. And yes, she does know that it came on the first day of May. They're getting the boxes together. And it's, it's, COVID kind of did a number on everybody because, you know, some people have changed their presentation, like reefs. Uh, who's our. Soap person, Our CDC, uh -huh. CDC's changed their um, production to do uh, alcohol wipes, sanitation, hand sanitation. Now, here's the important part about Destin. I've been down to Destin now for the last two weeks, two weekends, or two weekends over two weeks, uh, starting Monday. Actually, the beaches are open now, but the restaurants are still serving um from the door curbside service starting monday and tuesday the restaurants will be open but they will only be open for 25 percent of capacity so don't go rush into restaurants because they're open you're gonna make more of a line and more of a headache and more of an issue and and you gonna be sitting in the car waiting to go in a lot longer than what you normally would be do your curbside Keep doing the curbside. If they happen to have a seat, wonderful. If they don't, just treat them nicely. Be respectful to them because they're trying their best. Um, the next thing is these guys. These guys start diving Monday, Tuesday, somewhere around in there. But again, the dive operators are only going at about 25 to half a capacity. They're not going to be open full service until the state of Florida says it's okay. These guys are, are, are doing their best try try your best to get down here give them some love by giving them your money um 
go diving, get equipment, get your gear checked. That's what we did. We got our gear checked and hopefully Memorial Day weekend, we go diving with these guys. Um, I do believe the Memorial Day dive is already full. I'm not sure. If Memorial Day dive is very special. Um, those of us that are veterans, we get on the boat, we go out to a reef that has been man-made by these people over here in Emerald Coast. Um, Scott's been doing a wonderful job with this. Uh, I didn't know that he had rocks with uh, dog tag looking nameplates on there. Otherwise, I would have given him a couple of names that I know. Um, but anyway, they've been doing a great job keeping the reef up and the Memorial Day reef. And we will try to Veterans Reef and we will try to get out there and get you some pictures Memorial Day. Uh, I don't know if I'll have my camera case in by then, but we'll do our best. Next thing is, is I don't think June's diving is going to happen. I say that now so that way people won't be prepared because we've already got some people that have backed out. But that being said, if you're wanting to go diving, please don't stop diving. I mean, don't don't stop with Emerald Coast because I'm not going. Uh, but if I can, let me know. Let me go. Let me know that you're going want to dive, and I will put it together for that week for that weekend. But I've got to know so I can tell Anna and everything to be correctly. Uh, well, that is it for this week's dive guy. I really appreciate it. I'm not even going to edit it. I'm going to leave noise in and all. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you next time or see you on the boat.